Hi friends, welcome to the All Canadian Reptile Girl with me, Annalise. There are a few things that every snake keeper knows about certain species of snakes. Like, ball pythons are all lap snakes. Corn snakes are all gentle. Hognose snakes are all picky eaters. Everyone knows that. Young boas are all very nippy, duh. Green tree pythons are savage monsters that, given the chance, would kill you and everyone you ever loved. Everyone knows that, right? Today we are going to tackle one of these everybody knows preconceptions head on. Because I have a species of snake that everyone knows is kinda nasty. This species does not like being handled, doesn't like people, is cage aggressive, and has no problem biting you with its 200 plus teeth. I've had comments and discussions on my Instagram from other people who have interacted with this species and it's usually a story about them getting bitten. Like I said, everyone knows that they're all just mean. So, you wanna meet my mean old nasty snake hobs? Of course you do. Let's head upstairs. Here we are, outside the lair of the beast. I hope you realize the horror and pain I am risking just by opening this door. Are you ready? Here we go. It was pretty touch and go there, but I survived. Pretty scary, right? Let's head downstairs. So you might recognize this guy. He's been in a few of my other videos, including the one where we first brought him home. This is Hobbs, my Maclitz python. Maclitz pythons are native to parts of Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, and Northern Australia. They are related to olive pythons, which is Australia's second biggest snake getting to about 15 feet long. But maclets are usually much smaller, getting to between six to eight feet, with some really big ones getting to about 10. Here in indoor light, Hobbs looks like a generic brown snake. But in outside light, under the sun, he is just beautifully iridescent and shimmers in bright pinks, purples, blues, greens. He is just gorgeous. Females are generally much bigger than males, so at seven and a half feet, Hobbs is a big boy. He probably won't get any longer, but he will get thicker as he ages. And as I mentioned, Maclet's pythons have a reputation for being less than friendly, especially when they are young. The common belief is that they calm down a bit once they hit four feet or so and most can be tamed down with a lot of regular handling. But even still, they are pretty easy to rile up and bites are not uncommon. But as you can see, Hobbs is nothing like that. He's gentle, very easy to handle, and shows no cage aggression, even when we go poking around his tank for maintenance, or we go try to get him out when he's napping, or just not really in the mood to come out. Usually though, he just comes whizzing out whenever we open the door, like he did earlier. This isn't a product of socializing work that we've done with him. I mean, we handle him a lot, but we've only had him for about seven months and he's been like this since day one. The pet store in Montreal that we got him from said that he and his brother had always been super friendly. When we handled him for the first time in that busy pet store, he was just as chill as you see him now. He's spooky smart too. Snakes aren't known for their deep thinking. They're smarter than they often get credit for, which I talk about here. But they really don't need a whole lot of brains to thrive in their environment. 
That said, I am fairly confident that Hobbs is by far the smartest and most curious snake I have ever met. He's a bit mischievous about it too. <laughs> he seems to know exactly where we'd rather him not go and then goes right there. If you don't believe me, stick around to the bloopers. I think he might actually be a cat in disguise. Could be where he got his name from. More than any of my other snakes, Hob seems to genuinely want to come out and interact with us. He's not quite as consistently confident as Dozer, our giant corn snake, but he is certainly the most enthusiastic about stretching his legs. If he wants out, he's not adverse to knocking over his plants and branches and bumping the glass, then staring at us until we come and open the door. Which, by the way, he figured out how to do on his own. So now his door is locked and latched. Then he figured out how to pop the covers off of his vents, so we needed to reinforce them. Then he checked each and every spot in the grate at the top of his enclosure every day for a week looking for a weakness. He figured out this feeding schedule and knows exactly what day is feeding day and is up the first thing in the morning bumping the glass and eyeing us even before we take any rodents out of the freezer. If I didn't know any better, I'd say he might even know his own name. He focuses intently on the TV when it's on, which is weird. He will happily sit draped over our shoulders and stretched out toward the TV watching whatever we're watching. Eventually, he'll go over to someone else on the couch, get comfy, and watch some more. It was a little unsettling at first, but now it's just another aspect of his personality that we've come to love. Let me know in the comment section below what his favorite show might be. He is also an art buff. We have lots of paintings on the walls, but without fail, he stretches way out to a specific painting of a snake and checks it out thoroughly. I'm sure it's just the bright blue color that interests him, but it's almost like he recognizes it's a snake and has to check it out. That's impossible, of course. His brain is not wired to think this way, but it's definitely odd and it's easy to anthropomorphize this kind of behavior, especially with an animal that has as much personality as this guy. The only time Hobbs isn't super friendly is when he's in blue or about to shed. Then he gets a little cranky. As you may know, right before a snake sheds, their eyes get all milky white. This is due to an oily secretion they produce as a lubricant between the old skin that needs to come off and the new skin underneath. They produce it all over. Because the scales covering their eyes are transparent, you really can see it there. Shockingly, with these cloudy eyes, your snake can't see as well as they normally would, which means that they might not see you coming and be surprised when you touch them and they might be more defensive or just generally more stressed out. I imagine that the skin needing to come off over their entire body might be itchy or otherwise irritating to your snake and make them a little bit more cranky than usual. Being fussy during shed is not uncommon in snakes, with the exception of Dozer, my big corn snake that I mentioned earlier, whose mood and temperament never change. All of my snakes seem to exhibit some behavior change during shed. Some just like to hide a little more, some don't want to eat, some don't like being handled, some seem to even pout. Hobbs gets a little snarky. I can't fault him for that. And a snarky Hobbs isn't much of anything anyways. He might give a little headbutt and try to get away, but once out of his tank, he's right back to normal. He's pretty great. Yeah, you are. My big puppy. Macklet's python's overall reputation is not entirely undeserved. There are more ornery species of snakes out there, to be sure. But Macklet's pythons are more aggressive than most pet snakes. But as you can see with Hobbs, there are exceptions. And those exceptions are not always that uncommon. Hobbs is not that unique. Brian Barczyk has a massive Macklet that I've seen on his channel, and he's every bit the goofy puppy dog that Hobbs is. The Virginia Aquarium has Mac the Macklet's Python as one of their reptile ambassadors. 
He is also great with people and is amazing to handle. And he is super great with kids. I bet I might even get comments below from fellow Macklets keepers about their super friendly Macklets. Clearly, what everyone knows about Macklets pythons is not always the case. My primary purpose for this video really was just to show off Hobbs because he's amazing, right? But I also wanted to demonstrate that preconceptions can often be misconceptions. Aggressive snake species can be much friendlier than you'd think. Conversely, you can't just assume that you can be careless or rough in handling your ball python or corn snake because they are all friendly and not get nipped. These are primal creatures who process their world through simple associations and basic needs. Safety, food, reproduction. Being familiar with your snake's typical disposition and being mindful of changes will help you anticipate reactions. Calm energy is important too. As primitive as they are, they can absolutely read your mood and energy. If you're antsy, they react to that. A calm demeanor when handling your snake will help ensure a positive reaction and build trust with your scaly note rope. That's it for today. As of this filming, we are still in the midst of our shutdown due to COVID-19. I hope that you are all washing your hands, social distancing, and staying safe and healthy during this strange time. Thanks for watching me, the All-Canadian Reptile Girl, and Hobbs. He's just a great reptile ambassador, isn't he? Please don't forget to check out my other videos and my Instagram. I am really looking to grow my channel and share my passion with as many people as I can. So, as always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and remember, nurture all nature. See you next time. Bye! Um, let's just get to sleep. of our other videos he is our orange cat <laughs> is there any way I could get you to stop breaking my wrist okay then this is non-negotiable <laughs> super easy to handle although my wrist is bending at an angle it should not be bent <laughs> He was hub trained. <laughs> Get off my head. <laughs> He's like, just pop. Oh, it is red. Oh, gee. My hand is very warm right now. Okay. We'll, we'll talk about that. Oh, there is another little click. Well, hi there. I'm here today with a table. Let's see if this table is the best pet table for you. Shockingly, they can't see. Shockingly, with these cloudy eyes. Shockingly, with these cloudy eyes, your snake can't see as well as they normally would, which means that they. <laughs> Shockingly, with these cloudy eyes, <laughs> I just like the transition of laugh, laugh, laugh. Shockingly, shockingly, with these <laughs> shockingly with these cloudy eyes. <laughs> I'm not even doing anything. I know. Oh, I know. Shockingly, with these cloudy eyes, your snake can't. <laughs> Oh, now my face is all red now. I need a minute. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ha. Giant snake. Hi. Giant but friendly. Aww. You're so cool. I love you.